was so hot, but I turned the AC off up here so that I could record and the mic would not pick up any noise and now it is extremely hot up here. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking that I might have been better off just staying downstairs and dealing with everything. I wanted to make this video because I feel like it's been a while since I just sat down and did a whispered rant just kind of let you all know what's been going on in my life. I mentioned several months ago that my brother was getting a house, or he was looking for one, and I believe I told you guys that he had closed on one, and you know, the house is his and everything. Well, we, and when I say we, I mean pretty much my mom, my stepdad, myself, Chris, my brother, and his girlfriend, have all been working our booties off at his house. We have been painting and just getting the house ready, and it looks incredible. It looks like a brand new house, completely different from what it looked like when he first moved in. It's an older house, and it had wood paneling on all of the walls, like a dark, dark brown, and he absolutely hated it. So, we did all the walls different colors, and it looks so pretty, and I'm just so proud of the work that we all did, because if you could see the before and after, it's just incredible what just some paint will do. So he's really excited, and I'm excited for him. I think that it'll be good for him to have his own place. He was renting uh, basically a room from someone before, but it's always nice to have your own place and not really have to answer to anyone or run things by anyone if you want to change things. My family uh, just recently got back from our yearly beach vacation and it was so much fun. I'm already uh, ready to go back. Basically, uh, what we do every year is we go down on a Sunday and uh, the first several days of the trip, the entire family just stays together we spend time together throughout the day, and then uh, we go out to dinner at night. But usually, I think Thursday is when my parents actually have to start working down there for my stepdad's job. So it's kind of like a vacation slash work event, I guess you could say, for my parents. But the kids get just the whole week to vacation. We don't have to work or anything while we're down there. But uh, yeah, it was really, really nice, and I loved being able to spend an entire week with Lexi and Savannah. They were both so good. They were just sweet little angels. Uh, they did not act up or do anything crazy, even like at night when we went out to dinner. Lexi was really, really good. So it was a nice vacation. Uh, when we were on our way back home, almost got into an extremely scary uh, car crash. I was following my parents and they had a trailer full of stuff that they were carrying. It was like a big, like one of those big box trailers, but uh, completely covered. I don't know really how to explain it, but they had a lot of stuff that they had to take back to my stepdad's job. So they had the trailer that they were pulling behind their SUV. Well, we were driving down the interstate, and just out of the corner of my eye, on this side, on the left-hand side, I saw a car flip through the air coming towards us. And of course, you, just, you know, when something like that happens, you freak out. And the only thing I knew to do was immediately pull my car to the shoulder. And thankfully, I was able to do that, and we were okay. I thought at the time that the car that was flipping through the air had 
several times would have either landed directly on my parents' car or would have landed on top of my car. And it's kind of one of those situations where I didn't really see my life flash in front of my eyes, but it's just one of those things where you think about just how quickly, you know, everything can be gone. And uh, so we were, we were all pretty shaken up. I'm still thinking about it, you know, a couple of weeks later, so it's just, it's something, you know, you see wrecks all the time, unfortunately, but it's very rare that a wreck like that is right there where you are, and, you know, you could have been one of the people that was seriously affected by it, so I'm just uh, very thankful that the people that were involved were not hurt too badly, uh, they took them to the hospital, but I, I don't think anyone had any threatening injury, so that's good. Basically, what had happened was there was a guy, a young guy, that was speeding, and he was weaving in and out of the traffic, and he, um, he hit one car. It was really weird, like, he hit the side of their car, and that car spun around and went back that way into the ditch, and then somehow his car f started flipping through the air after that. We think that was probably texting and driving, and uh, that he threw his phone out the window, <sighs> because uh, Chris found his phone, and it was like way, way down, not even close to where we had been, and he handed the phone to the guy, and the guy at first was like, no, no, it's okay, don't worry about it, so Chris was like, why would he not want his phone back, and then, so he eventually got the phone and was like, oh, I thought that I'd gotten rid of this. So it was really weird, and I think that's probably what had happened. He was probably texting and driving, and then did not want the police to find out, but he was definitely the cause of the wreck. So that was a pretty uh, scary situation. I have to keep moving around because I'm just sitting like with my legs crossed, and my foot keeps falling asleep for some reason. Oh, if you are wondering why my microphone is set up like this, it's because it is broken stay on the tripod at all. Lexi just celebrated her third birthday last weekend, and it's just crazy to believe that she is three. Uh, my sister had her party at this huge, it's kind of like a warehouse, and they have a ton of moonwalks and just a ton of uh, inflatable things. And it was fun, but it was literally, I'm not kidding you, like a hundred degrees in that place. They had no air conditioner, and everyone was just miserable. Lexi got sick because she got overheated, and it just, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say it was a bad party, but most of the people ended up leaving way, way early just because it was so hot, so I don't think that will be um, a place that they go to again. At least I hope not, but you would think the middle of summer, those moonwalks and everything get extremely hot. You would think that uh, they would have some type of air conditioner going. So my sister talked to uh, someone who was in charge. I don't, it wasn't the manager. It was somebody working the front desk. And she told my sister that they do have air conditioner. It works, but they're just too cheap. The owner is too cheap to turn it on. That's exactly what she said. And it was incredibly, incredible expensive to rent this place out. Um, I think there were five kids that ended up coming, and for those five kids, just to let them play and jump and to rent a table for uh, pizza and cake, it was almost $300. And then on top of that, you had to pay for your own food. They, requi they required you to buy pizza from Papa John's, and you could not bring she paid like a $50 fee. It all sounded kind of sketchy to me from the beginning when my sister was like explaining to us how all of this worked. But my sister is one of these people where she gets something in her head like she's going to do something and you can't change her mind. She's very, I guess she's very stubborn in that way. So I tried, you know, we talked 